at the end of the day, uh, Muhammad, at the end of the first day actually, Muhammad untied all the camels from each other because they were all tied together in a train and gave the rope and he said, here, hold the rope. And I'm like, okay, I thought he was going to go and do something. And yeah, he did. He untied all the camels and then gave us all the ropes and said, go. And we're like, go where? He said, go. You get these camels wandering around and trying to stop and eat and sometimes they'd go down on their knees. Um, saw something they wanted to eat. It was really hard to stop them from eating. My uh, Shalaban would frequently turn around and look at me and go, yeah, I don't think I'm stopping. And then would go down and then you'd be like, straight down because it was like, oh no. Um, and I can see that there's this drop. The old road has this like two foot drop uh, ahead of us. And I really don't want to uh, sort of go into it. All four I camels almost simultaneously, like they have camel mind or something, decided that they were going to go down that little tiny section of road that was still standing all at the same time. So they're just all running and we're all So going. we're all wearing our our, our headscarves and everything and Lisa's at the back says you know she can just it's like a Lawrence of Arabia moment there's a clouds of dust flying up our head scarves are flying in the wind as we all hit this narrowed section of road where it drops two feet and go plunging over the cliff 